Morning guys. Welcome to Coffee Chat. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Guys, I'm going to tell you something right now. It is a big, big deal that I save my first sip of coffee for you when I wake up in the morning because I get up, you know, and of course, one of the first things I'm looking forward to is that first sip of coffee. And it takes me a little bit of time to kind of get myself together until I, you know, kind of make the coffee and saunter out here. And so I'll tell you what, if I'm saving that first sip of coffee, that tells you just how important you are to me. I'll tell you that we can share that together. Now, having said that, well, let me say this. Mm. I got a new hat on here that was sent to me by Rich. And Rich also sent me, by the way, the coffee cup that I am drinking out of today. And look at that. Isn't that an amazing sight right there? The Victor XRP Championship belt right there beating the tar out of the SEC. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate it so, so much. Now, having said that, hmm. Somebody else sent me a book right here. Now, the person who sent me this book, David, David Stone, this is his brother, Greg Stone, and Greg wrote this book, Pieces of the Puzzle, and I can't wait to read the book. Thank you so much, guys. I'll tell you what, this community is really supportive, and I absolutely treasure each and every time somebody comes out there and share something on this channel. I read every single comment, Judy and I both, and the value that we get out of that is truly amazing. Now, hey, even the ones that disagree with what we have to say or want to point out, oh, you said this before or whatever, I absolutely don't mind those guys. We need to have absolute positive debate brought back into you know this this into this kind of environment and this space and this world to be sure and having said that well <laughs> what is the big deal today well the big deal of course is this debate that we're supposed to be having this presidential debate but guys i'm going to tell you right now the art of debate has been totally lost i am not expecting to be watching a debate what i'm expecting to watch is a humiliation contest just to see who can humiliate who first and the fastest and the best at the end of the night because i honestly do not believe we're going to get genuine debate the moderators themselves interject themselves into the conversation offering their two cents watch and see watch and see if the moderators of this debate don't offer their own two cents in the form of question and stuff like that and you'll just see how they do it of course they want to rile up the audience they want you and i to be riled up and on and on and of course it's a character assassination attempt i mean when they can't win the argument what do they go for well they go for the character and both of them are going to do it this is not a one-sided affair you watch and see if I'm not correct in how this goes down, you're going to be watching theater, guys, as far as I'm concerned. And it would not surprise me, not one little bit, if we actually found out that the whole thing was scripted. I kid you not. And for ratings and whatever else. Because, guys, the truth of the matter is, we have lost the power to genuinely debate. Where? It was supposed to be one of the mainstays. I mean, you can't even go on a university or college campus now. Get that. That used to be one of the hotbeds where you could present any idea that you wanted and people could, you know, argue for or against it, agree or disagree or this, that. Now you can't even go onto a college or university campus without, no matter what side of the argument you're on, without the threat of either being physically assaulted, literally shouted down, on and on and on. And so as far as I'm concerned, and these kids, our kids, this generation that we've sent, if that was, I'll tell you what, if I found out that one of my kids was engaged in that kind of behavior, man, I'd cut them off, bang, right there. Why? Because they are not learning one thing about what it is to actually get out there and use critical thinking. Critical thinking is not afraid of critical debate. I'll tell you that right now. Mm-hmm. I have zero issue with somebody disagreeing with my point of view. None whatsoever. In fact, I encourage it. I encourage it. But when you go from attacking the argument to attacking the person, you've crossed the line. You've crossed the line. Because 
Obviously, at that point, your argument has to be pretty darn weak that you'll start attacking the individual, their character, where they come from in the world, they're, uh, you know, they're all that kind of stuff. You got to attack the argument, guys. And this is where you've got to know what you believe and why do you believe it. See, a lot of folks, they think that debate is just shouting each other down and, oh, how tell them how stupid the other, but that is not debate. Debate is presenting a counter argument that will literally have the, that, that will poke holes in the ideology or the philosophy of, of the other person's argument. And you know what? I am, I myself have been literally changed my point of view based on the strength of some people's arguments. Yep, that's right. Where I absolutely held to a certain point of view and then heard an argument that made absolute rational sense to me. I thought through it, I digested, I went through it, and you know what? I changed my opinion. Absolutely. That's what debate is all about. And it's to present the counter arguments. But we're not allowed to debate, even on these social media platforms anymore. You can't put out an idea there that goes counter culture to, you know, everything else. Oh, no, we got to shut them down. We got to silence them. We got to get our algorithms out there so that that message doesn't get out to too many people or whatever it is. And you get shadow banned and on and on and on it goes. And you can, and they literally have it so that you say certain words and you get cut out. That's how it goes. And so that tells you we are not living in a free speech society, does it? And so a lot of people, when they think it's debate, it's not debate. All that is, is just seeing who can humiliate who. That's all it is. And for me, guys, I have no interest in it. I probably won't even watch the thing. You know, I might catch a few glimpses, I have to be honest there. But I'm not going to sit there for one, two hours listening to the debate and seeing all the nonsense that goes on. And then after that, listen to all the commentary on both sides for the next two or three hours. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. Guys, do you really believe that they are going to debate there and absolutely try to win over each other's, you know, um, you know uh, pool of voters? Most people that I know have already made up their mind. They've made up their mind what they're going to do and, and who they're voting for and on and on. And it probably won't even make a difference what anybody says when they get to the ballot box. You know, and a lot of people are even just calling it a selection that is not really an election at all. When you take a look at the Electoral College and how it really, really goes down, it's kind of like, you know, something to appease the people because it's the Electoral College. I don't know how many votes that is, but 300 and some, I don't, I forget exactly. And maybe if someone out there knows, you just drop that in the comments there. But if you get to understand the Electoral College and how that works, you know, it's those guys that decide and they don't necessarily always have to go with the popular vote in their state which is amazing right there and so sometimes a lot of people think ah it's just an exercise to make the people feel kind of warm and fuzzy and stuff like that so maybe that's true i don't know but i'll tell you this much in the off chance that it actually makes a difference get out there and exercise that freedom because there's a lot of places around the wide world that don't even come close to having the freedom to get out there and exercise a vote, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. And how many people in our families, all of our families, by the way, if you go back generations, somebody in all of our families paid the ultimate price so that you and I could have that privilege to go out there and exercise a vote. So I do encourage that, but I'll tell you, if we ever need it, to get some common sense into the wide world, it has got to be now. It has got to be now. The nonsense, the literal nonsense that is going on and what people are allowed to get out there and do to one another in all in the name of who's got the right point of view and all this kind of stuff is truly obscene. People have been demified, demonized, I should say, just for holding a different point of view. And I do not agree with that, even if it's a point of view that does not, that I do not share. I do not believe that we should be going out there and ripping, demonizing people and this kind of stuff. The thing is this, we live in a, in a republic, yes, I'm going to say that, a republic that exercises, you know, the ability for people to have a say, to get out there and let us know, hey, do I agree? Do I not agree? That's what we live in. That's what this country was founded on. 
and, and, and one that was based on principles. And you got such an imbalance. You can literally see it. You can burn down in certain cities in this country. You can literally burn down the courthouse, burn down the police station, burn down everything else. And you're let off scot-free. You show up on a particular day at a place that they say, oh my goodness. And you're not doing anything to, you know, you're just observing. Wow, you got to spend maybe a couple years in jail for doing that. I mean, I guess. Guys, it's total insanity. What we're witnessing is total total insanity and we got to get away from it i'll tell you what and so hey if you're looking forward to this debate tonight i'll tell you what put in the comments after it i'd love you to put in the comments after you've watched the debate put the comments into this video come back to it put your comments in about what we just said there was it really a debate or was it just a you know a, a process of seeing a who a contest and who can humiliate the other the most guys you put that in there and I'll tell you what, we have a, we're, we, we've seen it so much before. It's like, it's ad nauseum. I guess most of us already know. But in any case, guys, I sure hope you're having a fantastic day. And Rich and David, thanks again for all your support and everybody else out there as well. And until later on today, we have an amazing video for you. And have a great one and take care.